Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another Wild Drift, <coughs> Wild Drift video. And in today's video, I'll be playing Lucian, but let's talk about the elephant in the room. What the hell is wrong with my camera? Why, why is it all looking like this? I am traveling, you know, I'm basically on vacation. But of course, I still have to make videos, you know, <laughs> what do you think? So in today's video, I'll be playing Lucian. And guys, I've tried a lot of different Lucian builds because I saw online that there was many discussions about how to build Lucian and everything like that. So if you want to watch the build part, um, I'm going to explain how to build him right now. There's timestamps in the description to just skip to the gameplay. So what is the best Lucian build, right? Like, is it Essence Reefer or is it starting with an Infinity Edge or is it Lethality or is it Bloodthirster? Do you need a Rapid Fire Cannon? Is Blade of the Room King good? I'm going to answer all of these questions. So let's first start with the most important thing. Starting with an Infinity Edge is good, but it's not the best. Essence Reefer is essentially gonna give you more damage. Oh, okay, so, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, it's gonna give you more damage, um, more burst damage. It has ability haste, so you can use your abilities more often. Um, um, it's gonna give you more mana. It's just, you know, it's all in all a better item. Sorry, I said more damage, but actually Infinity Edge gives you more damage. But Essence Reefer gives you more burst damage with your first ability. Because your first ability is a laser and an ability. It's going to deal the damage of the Essence Reefer. Essence Reefer is going to give you that ability haste, which is super important on Lucian. You want to have it as early on as possible. Because of this, you can actually spam your third ability more often, which is all that Lucian is about. Second item, Solar Recharge Blade. This is the perfect item for Lucian because you spam your abilities and it gives you ability haste. Just all in all, the perfect item. So you go for the Solar Recharge Blade, second item. For the boots, by the way, Ionian Boots of Lucidity. Yet again, as much ability haste as you can have. So just, you know, just it's all about the ability haste. That's why the first two items and the boots are all ability haste items. And then after that third item, that's when you get the Infinity Edge. And this is where your crits are going to start hurting like hell. You're pretty much going to have 100% crit chance because you're constantly going to be using abilities. So, you know, you're going to double your crit chance here every time. So double as in 25 percent addition sorry so infinity edge is the perfect third item fourth item make sure you either get a mortal reminder or or surreal does grudge so real does grudge would generally be better because like with the ultimate it's it's amazing because you can slow the enemy with your ultimate and it's like it's, it's gonna become so easy to hit all of the bolts of the ultimate but very likely our enemy is gonna have some sort of healing you know like blade of the rune king or a healing support or anything like that so that's why more often than not, you're going to be better off going for a Mortal Reminder. And if, as your last item, you go for the Guardian Angel. And here, potentially, you could go for a Blade of the Rune King. If the enemy is super tanky and you just can't get through them, if they have a lot of HP, you know, if they have like a Mundo, Garen, whatever, then you could actually skip out on the Guardian Angel and get a Blade of the Rune King as your last item. Because this one is going to do a lot of damage to those tanks. Um, but otherwise, just get the Guardian Angel. So... For your runes, you go for Conqueror. It's very easy to stack up Conqueror on Lucian. Second rune, there's two that you can go for. First of all, is Brutal. If you want to deal, like, if you really want to maximize your burst damage in the early game, and if you want to be able to push out waves really fast in the early game, like, especially with the laser, Brutal is going to give you a lot of early game power with it. You can also go for Hunter Vampirism. This one is more focused on the mid-late game, and it's going to give you Lifesteal, which is really good as well. And these are the only two runes that you can go for on Lucian. All the other runes suck. Third item, completely situational. Like, what am I supposed to tell you? If they have stuns, Hunter Titan. If you just want to win the early game, Adaptive Carapace. If you want to skill into the late game, Conditioning. These are all good runes on Lucian, all of them. Fourth rune, Sweet Tooth. Because Sweet Tooth, yes, that's right, it's broken, guys. For your spells, you go for Flash and Barrier. Or you can go for Flash and Heal if your support is Ignite. Or if you're a real Giga Chat and you're against, like, Super Assassins, you can even go for Exhaust, guys. Um, if an assassin dives on you. So that was it about the build. Let's now get into the gameplay. All right, on to the gameplay. And I'm still doing the giveaway, the 15 skin giveaway, by the way. But let me see if the quality is good. Just give me a second, guys. To me, it looks good. Like, excuse my setup, excuse the quality of my video. You know, just sorry. It's only going to be for a few days. I'm on a vacation. If it's any bad, let me know if there's anything like bad quality wise on the video i would love to look into it and you know fix it if there is so let me know in the comments if there is anything but yeah lucian i'm actually playing with keys which is in my opinion one of the best supports that i've ever seen he's a really good player so you're gonna get a good well 
you're not gonna have as good supports as I have right now, right? And that's like kind of my problem with playing with good supports because I have two two friends that are really good at support, Keys and uh, Kamolto. And when I play with them, it's like, you know, when I make a gym video, I, I say clearly that this is not how your game is gonna look. This is not how easy it is to win with Jin. Because playing with a good support makes the game like so easy as an ADC. Easy as in like much, much easier than a solo queue game. Because if your support doesn't know what to do, then what are you gonna do? It's basically gonna be a one versus two situation. So I wanna make that disclaimer yet again. The result that you see in these games it's not the most accurate representation of how good a champion is, but I can still teach you how to play that champion, right? Like that's the whole idea of the video. But just wanna, I just don't wanna give you guys false hope because it's not just me. It's also Keys playing, and he's really good at Nami. And just as I say that, he completely hearts heart ins it. So I guess that's so. I guess never mind. But look at that. Like this is what Lucian can do in the early game, and this is why Bruto is really good in the. Oof! Ah, look at what I'm gonna do here. Look! 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 Test your knowledge. Test your knowledge. Why did I run into the turret? Put it in the comments. This this is not a hard one, but this is one where you have to wrap your mind around it. Why did I just run into the turret? Test your knowledge. Let's see if you get it right. There is one right answer. Only one. Like, only one. If you get it, you get it. If you don't get it, then I'm going to teach it to you very soon. So pause the video. I'm going to reveal it in like three seconds. Pause the video right now. The reason that I ran into the turret is I didn't want to give Varus the kill. I killed the enemy Morgana and I escaped, right? But then I wasn't looking too much and I didn't realize that Varus was destroying my Nami. So, you have two options when you, when you escape the turret. The first option is to try to run away, but you're not gonna run away because Varus is gonna kill you anyways and you're gonna give a bounty to Varus. Or you kill yourself under the turret and you give the bounty to the enemy support. What do you do? You run back into the turret and you give the bounty to their support. It might seem subtle, but this is very important. How did I dodge the Varus ultimate right there? With my second ability. I kind of saw it coming, so I maintained a proper distance. But there is like, there is this, these brain games that you can play with the enemy. Let me explain what it is. So you can like bait the enemy. Bait them to try to go for something, like Varus ultimate. The way that you do it, especially with Lucian, especially with Lucian, you get close to the enemy, and then boom, you dash away. You get close to the enemy, and if you're really good, you don't have to boom, dash away, you just get close and you react to the Varus ultimate and run away from it. That's exactly what I did against the Varus. I maintained the proper distance, very, like I slightly went into the danger zone, but then immediately went out. Because I just, you know, I want to bait out Morgana's first ability, Varus ultimate, these kinds of things, and it worked. This is, you know, these are some slight little things, but I want to teach you everything, right? I want to teach you these tiny little things as well. This is also really good when you're, I guess, like an Ari, right? When Ari tries to charm you, here, boom. The way that I dodged it, well, how did I dodge it this time? With my second ability. When you shoot your second ability on a minion or an enemy, and then either you or an ally attacks that minion or enemy, you get bonus movement speed, quite a lot of movement speed. So um, you can dodge stuff with that. Here, unfortunately, as you can see, I overstepped a little bit. It's okay though, but I did overstep. It was not possible for me to dodge that. It's fine though. They use two ultimates. It's totally fine. Like now they don't have ultimates. Here, yet again, easy dodge. See that? Against these types of champions. Oh. Like Varus and Morgana, you need to be really good at dodging. Oh, there we go again. The flash. Oh, I almost killed him as well. But it's okay. Keys is gonna kill him. And let me tell you why this is even more than okay. First of all, I got a kill, okay? I killed the enemy Varus. Secondly, Keys got a kill. Third of all, only the enemy Morgana got a kill, not the Varus. This, yet again, not the Varus. I, Varus is not getting a kill, and I denied him one kill already in this game, and now I denied him another one. I got my kill, I died from the enemy support, but Keys got the kill back, so totally worth it. This is how you can slowly but steadily get ahead of the enemy ADC. Make sure the ADC doesn't get kills and you get the kills, right? You shouldn't really care too much about supports getting kills, because supports are not really gonna carry the game with gold. Not like, I mean, of course they can, of course it's annoying if a support has a lot of gold, but it's not the same as an ADC, right? Here, yet again, you know, maintain a proper distance, don't get caught out by a Morgana. I see so many people that just don't know how to play against a Morgana, which, like, I don't get how. Just maintain a distance, 
And with a champion like Lucian, Lucian is insanely good against Discus. First of all, he has that movement speed from the second ability. Secondly, he has that all-important dash from the third ability. These are the only two tools that you need to dodge most abilities, especially against a Lucian and a Varus. Uh, um, Morgana and a Varus. Lucian is a really good matchup into stuff like that. Oh, look at this. Oh my god. I use my ultimate here. Just look at that. Oh. Like, that was perfect. That was literally perfect. Lee Sin, and he's dead. Oh god. How did I get rooted there, actually? Wait. Lee Sin ultimate rooted me, but he didn't quite kick me because he died before that. I think that's what happened. Uh oh. It's not good. It's good, actually. Support is tanking, and I'm running out. I still have my barrier. Easy peasy kills. Another tip with Lucian, when you're pushing turrets, use your abilities. Use them. Use the third ability, use the second ability, even if you can use the first ability on a minion or something, because this is going to give you that double attack to increase your pushing power against the turret. Keep in mind though, um, wait, I'm honestly not sure about this, but I am pretty sure that if you attack a turret with a double shot, that it doesn't reduce your cooldowns. But we would have to see it before. I don't want to give you guys wrong information. I, I'm pretty sure that's how it works, but we'll see. Oh, nice try. There you can see, Nami tried to bubble the, the Morgana and the Varus, but Morgana's third ability just blocks that. However, Nami is still a hard... Let's take a look at this first. Oh my god. Yeah, we're getting wrecked. Wow. That was amazingly played by the Fiora. That was a really good gank. But what was I saying? Um, Nami is actually really good into Morgana, if you didn't know already. Why? Because Nami's second ability can very easily take away the Morgana shield. It deals enough damage. Because Nami fully upgrades her second ability first, so it's going to do a lot of damage. So if Morgana uses a shield on someone, all, all Nami has to do is just use her second ability, and it's going to take the shield away. Enemy Fiora is like super fat though, damn. Hmm. What can we do? Lucian is actually pretty decent into Fiora, by the way, because you can run away from a Fiora. You can you can juke around her 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 uh, vitals. Lucian is pretty good at that. So, yeah, he's that ADC that's like he's so unique because he can constantly dash around and everything like that. He is so incredibly mobile. I believe he's the the most mobile ADC in the game. Like maybe Vayne, but yeah, no. Here we're dodging, we're dodging. I didn't dodge it sadly. Let's take a look at what happens. Oof, wow, I don't know why the Morgana used her stasis there. But you can see I was forced to use my flesh actually. Yeah. And the ultimate, so more often than not, is the ultimate uh more often than not, the ultimate is just gonna be like a finishing tool for you, right? Like finishing off the enemy. But what you can also do with the ultimate is maintain a safe distance from the enemy and shoot your ultimate, right? Got there, Fiora. Oh, now Fiora screwed up. She went way too deep, as you can see. Lucian is really good at dealing a lot of sustained damage as well. If you have a Nami that knocks up the enemy, then the enemy is dead. Because Lucian deals so much burst damage. Especially when you get the Solari Charge Bait, guys. Yeah, I cannot catch up to him. I can get my Solari Charge Bait now. And I'm skipping out on the enemy blue buff. And the reason is because I want to clear out the Rift Herald. Taking the Rift Herald is obviously more important than the blue buff. Because the Rift Herald is going to try to push my lane. Let's see if we can stop it. Oh, nice. I saved the turret. Wow. That's pretty nice. I got a lot of gold here as well. So, Solaria Charge Rate is a huge power spike, especially with the BF sword as well. This is an absolute crazy power spike. I'm asking if I can get the red, because if I get the, can get the red as well, it's basically a free dragon. Because I have the biggest power spike that you can get on Lucian, like, which is the mid-game power spike. And Solari Charge Blade and Essence Reefer. And on top of it, I also have a BF Sword and the Red Buff. So, like right now, as you can see, I will absolutely destroy them. Absolutely destroy them. I should. The reason that I used my ultimate here is because I made a positioning error. I, wait, I went a bit too deep. So I just used my ultimate so the Fiora wouldn't go full aggressive on me. That's the reason. Oh, wow. Yeah, I just killed the Fiora, but look at this now. Like, if I just killed the Fiora... At this stage of the game, I will indeed be dominating the game right now, guys. <clears throat> so, um, for the enchantment on Lucian, by the way, you know, I've tried Protobelt, but honestly, he really doesn't need Protobelt. You already have enough dashes, so... Oh, God. Wow. Just a randomly sin. No! I missed my third ability. No, I missed my third ability. I wanted to go over the wall, but I didn't. Damn. 
But what I was saying is uh, for the enchantment, you don't need Protobelt. Protobelt is my favorite enchantment, like in general, but you really don't need it on Lucian. The only, the only enchantments that you would go for on Lucian is first of all, Stasis Enchant. If you're, and this is the one that you're generally gonna be going for, like I would say like 80, 85% of the game, Stasis Enchant. And then the second one is Quicksilver Enchant. And I believe in this game, yeah, yeah, in this game I got the Quicksilver Enchant. The obvious reason that I got it is because we're against the Morgana and the Varus, right? If you're against those types of champions, wow, that's Fiora's combos are clean, man. Did you see that? Ting, 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 ting. Just proking that ultimate. Actually, amazing. Like, this Fiora is good. Yeah, I'm flashing over the wall just to kill her. I don't want the Fiora to get more kills. Because here I realize that this is a good Fiora. So I really want to make sure she doesn't get even more kills and gets fed. Because a Fiora like that can solo carry games. Like, this guy this guy had some clean combos, man. Um, but what was I saying? Banshees. Yeah, Banshees is good. That's the item that gives you a shield. Uh, the reason that it's good for him in this game is because we're against a Var Varus and a Morgana. Yeah, I can get my Infinity Edge as well. Just really, really like snowballing the game right now. Thing about Lucian is, by the way, um, his his big power spike comes in the mid game. He's like a mid game champion. Now, I'm not saying that he's weak in the late game. He's just he's just slight. You know, he slightly falls off in the late game. So. You know, you want to be, as I said, that's why you want to be utilizing that power spike in the mid game. When you get two items with the Solaris charge bait and the BF sword and stuff like that, you want to be fighting them because that's why you're super strong. Oh, by the way, I told Keys, Banshees is actually questionable this game. Because if you didn't know, Fiora's first ability procs the Banshee's veal. So, you know, yeah, that like it's it's hard to decide whether or not you need it. But you have to, you have to look at the enemy and look at them and think, Okay, can they proc that shield easily? Yes, then probably don't go for that item. No, then it's a really good item. Like against a against a, against an Ezreal, he can constantly proc it, right? But against a Morgana, it's amazing. Because Morgana cannot proc it only with her first ability and her and her ultimate, the second charge of her ultimate. So that's why it's really good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. There's a Fiora coming for me. Yep. There it is, like, there it is, there it is, the Fiora, guys. I went way too deep there. So I do have a lot of, uh, I do have a lot of uh, mobility, but I screwed up. I went way too deep there. I should have just maintained the proper distance and fought from a long distance. I still had my ultimate, like, I literally still had my ultimate, um, and I didn't even use it. So as a Lucian, against a, as, against a scary champion like that, Fiora, who is fat, Maintain your distance. There is no reason to get way too close. Just use your ultimate. Your ultimate, even though it doesn't deal the most damage, it still deals good damage, like good enough for you to use it. So, in this game, I'm actually gonna go for the um, Cyrilda's Grudge because they don't really have a lot of healing. Obviously, Fiora's ultimate is healing, but I was like, nah, that's not worth going for the Mortal Reminder. I just want to have the slows. Let's look. Let's look. Almost too far, like it was okay. I kind of got saved by the Lee Sin ultimate there. I gotta be honest with you guys. Yet again, like I kind of overstepped right there, but I managed to get away because Lee Sin actually ulted me away. I think if the Lee Sin didn't ult me away, I would have died there yet again. You just cannot get so close to the enemies. You just can't. I mean, you can, but not against a Fiora that's the same level as me and has a double buff and has a lot of gold. You have to be insanely careful against that. Like here, you can see now I'm kind of understanding my limits a bit more. Being a little, being a little, uh, paying a little more attention, but of course against a Morgana, I can easily kill her. But Jesus Christ, this Fiora! But you saw, like you saw the the different mindset that I had there against the Morgana. I just went in and I killed her. <laughs> against the Morgana, I just went in, I killed her. Lucian is an absolute hard counter against Morgana. By the way, Lucian is also a hard counter against champions like Lux, like. Um, He's also pretty good against Ezreal. He's good, you know, he's good against champions that have a lot of skill shots. He's really good against Ziggs because you can constantly dodge it around. Your second ability gives you movement speed. He's just good against that, guys. He's just really good against that. Ha, huh, she got it. <laughs> so keep that in mind when picking Lucian. He's really good against those types of champions. Good against Varus too, then, yeah. Um, I wanted to say something else, but I forgot, I think. I took it. Why? Why did he take the red buff? Come on. 
my red buff. <laughs> uh, oh, and Cerulo's Grudge. The other reason that it's really good is because your second ability is actually AoE. So you can throw your second ability on the enemy and you're literally going to slow everyone. You're going to slow all of them. It's really, really strong. So like Lucian has multiple tools that makes that make the Cerulo's Grudge a really good item. <clears throat> Same for Mortal Reminder, by the way. Like if you need anti-healing, you're going to be applying it to all of them so easily with that second ability, the ultimate first ability. He just has a lot of AoE, right? <clears throat> oh, I should be okay here. Yeah. Lucian is really good in 1v1s, by the way, and like a champion like Lee Sin can, is not going to be able to win against me in the late game. I mean, of course, if he's fat, he can, but if you both have the same gold, then you should be fine against the Lee Sin, unless he literally uses everything with his ultimate and stuff like that, but most of, more often than not, you should be fine. Here, QSS, easy, easy, well, not really easy peasy, but I got the kill. You can see that in, the, in this game, I need the QSS. Let's take a look at him. I just, I just run away from him! Ult, look at that ult! Dodging the Morgana first ability, this is exactly what Lucian can do. Exactly, see that? See that guys? You can constantly dash around, constantly dodge everything. Like, they, they couldn't even kill me while I was at a super low amount of HP. I just, they just couldn't. So, nine times this Morgana. <laughs> He's going for crit Varys or something. <laughs> and Aki says I was gonna type that <laughs> uh, like he, was, he was gonna type the exact same thing You know, like 9 times your build Because look at the Varus build What the hell is that build? He's going for full crit Varus, are you kidding me? That doesn't work, by the way, guys That that really doesn't work like, Never, never, ever, ever try to do that It doesn't work <laughs> Oh, they killed the Fiora Should be game then if the Fiora is dead, it should be game. Like, only that Fiora is useful. So if we kill the Fiora, it should be game. I really hope the mic quality is going to be good enough in this video. I just hope that, that it's going to be a good video. We'll see. We'll see what the feedback is going to be. Yeah, and we just win. GG. As you can see, my itemization in this game was absolutely amazing. And that, that like, that Fiora was really good too. Like, damn. That was some good-ass Fiora. So... Take a look at how much gold and everything I had. Oh wait, I can I don't have the green screen anymore. Good game, good game. So thank you guys so much for watching. Oh look at that quality of the camera. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. And uh yeah, I will see you all in the next Wild Rift video. Bye bye.